Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Higdon. We now have dash cam footage from the incident that recently resulted in the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division charging a former Berkeley County Sheriff's Deputy. Randall Morris Timmons was conducting a traffic stop for failure to stop for blue lights on January 18th of 2022. According to the arrest warrant, the suspect refused to get onto the ground and Timmons used his taser on the person. The warrant showed that Timmons then kicked the suspect in the back of the head twice. Meredith Blair joining us in studio tonight to break down the video for us at Meredith. What is it showing us? Well, Meredith, let's die or Michael rather. Let's dive right into it. Now you can see here behind me. We have the video sped up so that you can sh see everything that's going on. But the car, uh, the, the deputy rather is speeding down this road. He's getting the, the vehicle he's pursuing to pull over. Now you can see that once the vehicle comes to a stop, deputy is getting out of his car and he's yelling at the driver, get out of the car, get out of the car. And you can see that the suspect there, he has his hands sticking out of the window, showing a little bit of cooperation there, but things are about to get interesting. Now the suspect, he gets out of the car with his hands remaining high in the air. You see him there walking towards the deputy. He then stops. That's when Timmons tases him. You can see him there getting tased. He falls to the ground. Timmons, the deputy there, he walks over to that suspect. And in just a moment there, you'll see him actually, you'll see him stomp on the suspect. One more time, you'll see him there do it again. Then he proceeds to handcuff him. That's what he's doing. That suspect remains on the ground while he's getting handcuffed. You see the deputy then dragging him by the arms, pulling him off the ground. Then he, he grabs him by the hair, pulling him up, trying to get him off the ground just by the hair there. Finally gets him up to his knees there. Eventually, he does get back up on his feet and other responders arrive at the scene a little later on where it appears that they check the suspect for any injuries there. Now Timmons is charged with third degree assault and battery and was booked at the Hill Finkley Detention Center in the studio. Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.